Hello, I'm Diana Melville from SIPFA and I'm one of the developers of our new assessment tool. This short webinar will give you an insight to that tool and its features. The assessment tool is based upon the SIPFA counter fraud code. The code has five principles as shown in this diagram. These encompass all the elements of good practice that any organisation needs to have in place if it wants to improve its resilience to fraud and corruption. We've written it so as to comply with any organisation. The code emphasises that it's not enough just to respond to allegations. Governors, board members, senior managers, they all need to show leadership in developing an anti-fraud culture. The organisation needs to identify its own fraud risks and so it can plan a strategic response to manage those risks. The code is available to download from the SIPFA website. I'd now like to share some screens with you about the assessment tool. This screen here is the home page from the tool. It has five sections that match the five principles of the code. We've also written comprehensive guidance and FAQs to help you get the most from it. Once you've completed at least one of the sections, you can then go to the results and report screens and see how you've done. So pick anyone you like. This screen here is the Second principle, identify risks. Each of the principles is supported by a number of performance statements. Here, for example, there are 13 statements that underpin identify risks. On the bottom left is an indicator that tells you how far through you've got. This is an example of one of the performance statements. You have statements and then you have options which you select to which would be most closely, which matches most closely your own answer. I'd also like to explain two unique features of the assessment tool that really add value to the tool itself. At the bottom there you can see three tabs, evidence, actions and notes. These are really valuable, but they're very flexible for you to use how you like. But I do have some suggestions. So, for example, in response to this question about a risk management policy, you might like to make some notes in your evidence tab about when that policy was last updated and maybe some points about what is included within it. If you've identified gaps in that risk management policy, you might like to record that under the Actions tab so you know where to, what to pick up on next time that policy is being reviewed. If you've seen some examples of other people's policies or some good practice guidance elsewhere, then you can make a note of that for future reference under the Notes tab. This really helps to evidence your assessment so it isn't just a rather quick tick box affair. The second unique feature is the evidence or help button, which is shown on the right hand side by a question mark. This goes to a new screen that provides more information that helps you to answer the question. And I've got an example here for you. So for the same question, it gives you an example of what to look for in that risk management policy, if it's going to be a satisfactory yes response to that question. Now let's think about the reports and the outputs. This is one of them. This shows all the answers to the performance statements that you've completed and also the summary conclusion. This tells you whether or not you're meeting the standards set out in the counter fraud code and for each of the five principles. These reports can be generated as a PDF 
for easy distribution. You can also see your results graphically. The screen here shows the overall results after fully completing the assessments. You can see your performance for each of the five principles plus that overall assessment. Here, the organization we've used as an example has reached a good level of performance against the code overall. There are some areas for improvement, however, and the graphical screen makes it easy to see which of the five principles perhaps needs most improvement. Again, these reports can be generated as a PDF. If you want to compare your results with your peers, you can. Built into the tool is a benchmarking option. A few clicks mean you can submit the results to the SIP for benchmarking team. You can receive a comparative report and that will help you shape your development plans. So what next? If you are already a subscriber to the Counter Fraud Centre or the Better Governance Forum, then we'll be in touch because you'll be able to receive a complimentary copy. Otherwise, please order your own copy via the SIPFA website. If you have any further queries, then please do get in touch. If you have any comments about the statements within the code or the code itself, then please contact me. If you have any technical queries, then please contact Andy Hill. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope you find the counter fraud tool assessment um, helpful to you in making improvements to your counter fraud arrangements. And goodbye. Thank you.